What the heck does agency even mean and why should you care? Well, that's exactly the question I'm gonna answer and I'm gonna start right now. Hey guys, Hans Strazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International coming to you with another video. Uh, this time we're going to talk about the concept and the definition of agency, uh, specifically what it is and why it even matters to you. Uh, most people think that when they hire a real estate agent, um, it's just a title, right? But agency is actually a really important definition and very core and fundamental to everything that you're going to experience with your real estate agent, uh, the way they're supposed to act, the way they're supposed to treat you, the laws that they're governed by, and uh, really exactly what it is that their license actually says. Hopefully if you get value out of this video, you'll consider subscribing to the channel, giving the video a thumbs up, hit the bell so you don't miss any of the content I'm going to put out on a weekly basis about uh, the real estate market here in the Bay Area and everything that you need to know to be successful here. Uh, so without any further ado, let's just get into it. Right, so we're going to start really, really basic here. Uh, the concept of agency is something that you really need to grasp and understand because it's the legal uh, definition and obligation that uh, your agent will have to you as a buyer or a seller. Um, so if you don't really understand this, it's hard to understand potential ramifications down the road as well as um, just at a very core basic level what you should expect in the relationship. Every state is a little bit different in the way that it does this, but most states defer to that state's common law. Um, and again, those are, are a little bit different state to state, so you want to make sure you read up on that understanding. Um, but there are a few states who have used the transactional brokerage model, uh, which then through statutes that have been written, then would govern that, govern that relationship. All right, you're probably thinking, gee, Hans, thank you so much for telling me all this, but how the heck am I supposed to dig in and understand common law and know what state I'm in and, and how it all is interpreted? Like, I'm not a lawyer, I don't have a legal mind, et cetera, et cetera. Well, in California, at least, what you can do is review this one-page form, which is at the front of every listing agreement and every purchase agreement, uh, which is titled the Disclosure Regarding Real Estate Agency Relationship, and it will very plainly and basically lay out all that is required in an agency relationship for you. So on this form, what you're gonna find at the very top of the buyer section and the seller section is this concept of a fiduciary relationship. What that is, is a legal definition that basically says that that individual, in this case the real estate agent, is acting in uh, your best interest as opposed to their own. The actual verbiage that they use here is a fiduciary duty of the utmost care, integrity, honesty, loyalty, in the dealings with the seller or the buyer as the case may be. So as you work your way down the form, one thing that's interesting, regardless of if you're in the buyer or the seller uh, section of the form, is it's gonna say to the buyer and the seller, meaning the agent who represents the buyer uh, has to give the seller and the buyer this exact treatment. Diligent exercising of reasonable skill and care in the performance of the agent's duties. Uh, the duty of honest and fair dealings and good faith, which is a really critical term to consider. And then uh, duty to disclose all facts known to the agent materially affecting the value of, or desirability of the property that are not known to or within the diligent attention and observation of the parties in a, a contract negotiation. Like, a lot of people ask, well, if we're negotiating and I'm going to tell you uh, that I would take, you know, a million dollars for the property and then you tell the other side that I'll take a million and then I could have actually gotten a million fifty, for example. Like that's where that section C comes in and basically says you don't have to uh, disclose that per se. Um, but what you do have to disclose is um, any reports or inspections or appraisals that you have on the property that might influence um, based on the condition. The seller's desire or the buyer's desires don't fall under that, especially in negotiation. And then the good faith component here also comes into play once you have an agreement. 
Oftentimes the courts uh, will not go back and try and rewrite the terms of a deal based on the good faith component here um, because negotiating obviously you have two sides that have opposing interests um, but what they will do is once a, once a deal is reached um, they will uh, try and make sure that everyone used good faith and fair dealings in upholding the terms of those deals. For example, you had a, a document that would prove that the foundation was faulty and you held on to it um, and didn't turn it over in the proper amount of time or at all, like that, that kind of thing would fall under this, um, this clause. Make sure that you take a moment and have that conversation with your agent because it is really core and critical. So fiduciary relationship, good faith, fair dealings, common law, these are all terms that your agent should be able to uh, talk to you about and make sure you're very comfortable with because it just governs the entire transaction you're about to be a part of. And that's it for today. Hopefully you guys got value out of that uh, video. Hopefully it gave you a little bit more context on what you should uh, be expecting from your agent and from the other side of the transaction as well. If you did get value, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel uh, and liking it with the little bell so you get the notifications uh, when I put new videos out because I'm coming out every week with new real estate content um, to help you achieve your real estate goals. Thanks for tuning in. This is Hans Strazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International signing off for now. See you on the next one.